Hey guys, video number four for today. And now I will be updating the iPlayer, which we thought would not be updatable, so that it would work on the 1.4 DSi. Um, so here's my iPlayer. I have to thank for Cool Day for providing it. They, they're an awesome company, and they're even they're even more generous than awesome. So. Um, where'd my micro SD go? Hang on one second. Here it is. The iPlayer is probably the most unique of them all. Um, you just have to put a file, the update.dat file, onto the root of the, the micro SD card and plug it in. What makes it unique is that the iPlayer, um, in the traditional sense, the idea of behind like the Ace card, the the R4s, the Easy Flash, is that you need a working DSi to run the the update file, and then you have companies like the the SuperCard team that come out with these USB things so that you can you can update your DSi first, and then and then with your broken cartridge you can update it again. The iPlayer, you can have a full 1.4, uh, you can have the 1.4 update and it would still be fine. You turn it on and the, the manual tells you to wait at the error screen for 2-3 minutes. And so for me, I'm just going to run the iPlayer and supposedly it's going to blank out like this for the next little while next two minutes or so. Well, you guys didn't miss much. It, You guys got to see a glimpse of the very last screen. It got stuck here and it's just been making a god-awful sound for a good three minutes now. So, I think I'm more than ready to restart, although, you know, this is kind of scary because there's no indicator, but, I mean, it's been a while. Sure, I'm just going to wait till, wait till it hits a minute before turning it off. It hasn't been too long. Anyways, it, what it seemed to look like to me was that it was rewriting parts of the game. I, I be willing to bet money that Fish Tycoon is the next icon, since, you know, that's a game that it played through. Um, yeah, so the iPlayer is definitely the most unique of them all. It, it, you can just wait at the error sign when you boot the cart up at, with the 1.4 update and just wait a few minutes and supposedly it will start working the next time you boot. Um, So, yeah, I, I've waited more than long enough, so let's restart. And, uh-oh, why is the icon still the iPlayer? I'm sorry guys, obviously there were some technical difficulties, and even worse, I thought I bricked my iPlayer for for a good half hour or so. Basically what happened was when I, I just kept booting the, the iPlayer and it kept going through that weird scene. Uh, thankfully everything's alright. I have to say, I wouldn't recommend booting it up on the DSi anymore. I think they assume that you have to, um, you should update to 1.4 first and then update it because they, the manual tells you to, um, update it when, or it will update when you see the error screen. So, thankfully, I had my trusty DS Lite, and when I plugged it in, you get a quick prompt asking you, uh, there's an update.dat file detected, or was it .bin, uh, and would you like to update? You click yes, it 
dozen less than two or three seconds. It was by far the fastest update yet. Um, so thank God. I'm so sorry for battery dying, uh, iPlayer not working. I, anyways, when push comes to shove, update your carts on the DS Lite. It, I guess. Thank God it works again. So as you can see, as right as a fish tycoon icon, and there you go, back, and it works. And this one's 1.4 now, so it works. Thank God. Thanks for watching uh, this disastrous um, video. I'm sure it'll be cut and diced into parts to make it fit together. So thanks for watching again. See you later.